Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 5. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Law enforcement continues to investigate a Henrico home containing potentially explosive materials. Nearby residents urged to evacuate overnight and again earlier today. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller is live at the scene with the latest. Rachel, what can you tell us going on really 24 hours later? Yeah, Eric, Deanna, well, as you can see, the scene is still active behind me. Details are coming in as we speak. We just found out moments ago that they are beginning to wrap up. Henrico police says it's not necessarily known whether a bomb or an explosive device was inside. Officers and first responders were just taking those suspicious or hazardous items or materials out from the home and just making sure that they're safe. This morning, Henrico police escorting 20 families who live near Durwood Crescent at Ridgetop Road back to their homes to get essentials before telling them to evacuate again. Matt Rayback and his family tells us they're staying at a hotel and live across the street from the home under investigation. We've seen uh, people coming and leaving that house. Uh, we've seen suspicious activity happening at that house. Rayback says it was only a matter of time. Neighbors alerting 8 News to cameras on the property and a Google Street view shows several. Yesterday, everything kind of came to a head and the police uh, took action. And Rico police fire Virginia State Police, the ATF, FBI and explosive ordinance disposal officers working to review hazardous or possibly explosive evidence inside the residence. Neighbors like Brenda Lindsay and her grandson hearing a loud boom. He was startled. Did you, you know, did you hear that? And I said, yeah, I know. And he was fighting because he wasn't sure what was going on. Police say the sound was caused by EOD technicians. All of us were just, we couldn't believe what was going on. The incident stemming from a call on Wednesday prompting officers to respond to South Mill Drive to investigate a domestic assault. The caller, 21-year-old Sidney Crow. Crow was arrested on outstanding warrants, including drug possession. And 52-year-old Michael Hardy arrested for alleged strangulation and assault against a family member, both having ties to the home in question, with Hardy being the owner. Officers executed a search warrant and found suspicious materials. We've had small instances happen. It's not a perfect area, but nothing, nothing ever like this. Crow and Hardy are in jail being held without bond. I'm told that investigators are still looking into their relationship. And again, here out here at the scene, things are continuing to wrap up here. So we were told that those road closures will still be in effect until six o'clock this evening, and then residents will then be welcomed back into their homes. Stay with 8 News for updates. Live in Henrico County, Rachel Keller, 8 News.